when the Lord is preparing his people for great change, he usually exposes them to very tough situations or tough conditions. And in most cases, the people who work with those people, if you have a very tough boss who doesn't want to listen to whatever you are saying, what will you do? If you have a degree or you have a PhD and you are working as a house girl and your boss has never gone to school, what will you do? If you think or it seems you know so much and your boss seems to know nothing and you still need to get instructions from that boss, what will you do? In the book of First Peter, Chapter 2, verse 13 to 19. It explains very well that God keep, kept people in authority to lead over his people, to punish those who do wrong and to reward those who do right. So, your bosses will reward you based on your performance and will punish you based on your performance. So, God kept those people there to watch over his people. You can have a very stupid president according to you, but according to God, that president is just stupid. You can have a CEO who seems to be, and who seems like he doesn't understand according to you, but according to God, that CEO is supposed to be there. So, when God is preparing for greatness, maybe for example, you are not, you are not married and you want to marry, He can pass you through a man or a woman who is your boss or a junior staff, who can give you help on earth just to test you if you can forgive and just to see if you are ready for that marriage. So at times we need to understand that even Moses worked with Pharaoh before he led Israelites. He was exposed to Pharaoh. David was haunted by his boss. His boss wanted to kill him. His boss was sour. He wanted to kill him. They were living in the same, same house. But David never tried to kill his boss. So, some of the toughness you are going through, it is God who is testing you for greatness. When you want to rise to a certain level, there are tests which you need to pass. And if you quit, or if you don't want to go through those tests, tests automatically you will repeat. Imagine you are a cleaner washing a supermarket and it is during rainy season. You wash people first, they make the floor dirty. Then you start cursing those people. There is greatness you are going to miss or you are going to delay your own blessings. So always understand when you are in a work environment, at times before you get your own work, you have to do the job. And it is through that job where God will test you if you are ready for your own. Remember, if you are trusted with small things, you will be trusted with great things. So that job is a small thing, but there is great thing ahead of you. So don't always curse people who are tough on you. Don't always curse people who look stupid or who you, you think that they're not nice. But in all in all, just understand that God kept people in authority for the sake of his own 